I'm Lisa Robbins with Let My People Know, and I'm here for a little small talk with Lori Gottlieb, author of New York Times bestseller, Marry Him, The Case for Settling for Mr. Good Enough. Welcome, Lori. Thanks for having me. So this book, I understand, has caused uh, quite a firestorm of controversy. Why don't you tell us uh, a little bit about what the book is about? Because there's been a lot of discussion about what it is and what it isn't. So let's, let's hear a little bit about the book. Yeah, I think a lot of people, you know, I think the controversy is mainly about the title as opposed to what's actually in the book. Um, you know, the, the title, Settling for Mr. Good Enough, comes from a survey where men and women were asked if you got 80% of all of your ideal qualities, everything you want in a partner, um, do you think you'd be happy? And 93% of women said 80%, no, that's settling. And the majority of men said 80%, that's a catch, that's great, that's what I'm hoping for. And so the question that the book, you know, explores is, what does it mean to be happy in love? And because I happen to be a single woman and because I happen to be a journalist, um, you know, I had a vested interest in, in getting an answer to that question. So in the book, I go around to neurobiologists to talk about chemistry. I talk to psychologists about what their studies show actually makes people happy in love versus the things that we're looking for when we're dating. I talk to sociologists about how the culture informs our decisions. I talk to behavioral economists about demographics and how we make choices. Um, you know, I mean, I talk to matchmakers, dating coaches, rabbis, um, our mothers. And, and about 200 uh, single and married people, men and women, um, to really try to get an answer to that question, what makes for long-term romantic happiness?